So in this tutorial, we are going to cover the subject this is computer system architecture. So in this chapter, we are going to study about the architecture of computer systems. So basically the meaning of computer architecture is that it is basically the study of structure and behavior of computers. So in this whole subject, what uh, we do is we analyze the structure and behavior of our computer system and we analyze how computer is doing some operations. And the term computer organization is for how internal comp components execute operations. So we all know that our computer works and it does some operations based on some input. When we will do, when we will just give these components some data, they will just perform some operations on it. But the application programs or the application programmers does not know how these operations are actually working. So they are only concerned about how to develop the application. But here you can see that these application programs basically runs on the system programs and basically system programs are written by the system programmers in assembly or uh, in any other machine level language. So basically system programmers are concerned with how they can make the architecture of the computer in such a manner so that the application programs can run smoothly on it. So what is computer architecture? So computer architecture is just the structure and the behavior of our computer. So you can just think architecture of computer as the uh, internal components and the organization is basically how these internal components are actually operating and how actually they are executing operations. Right, so here are some components of computer organization. This is a processor. A processor is basically used to compute some operations. We will study them in detail. We will study their architectures and how uh, uh, this these whole components provide uh, operations to the computer system and how they contribute in the architecture of the computer. So we will study about the main memory which is basically the RAM of your computer. We will study about hard disk and how other peripheral devices actually perform operations. So in this subject we are just going to cover how the computer system architecture works and we are going to do some a machine level language programming so that uh, we can actually perform operations at the very basic level in our computer. In the next tutorial we are going to cover how uh, the digital logic gates work. We will cover how the digital logic circuits are made and how they perform different operations in the computer. So that's all for this tutorial. In, just, in this tutorial we have just discussed about what exactly is computer architecture and computer organization and we have just heard I've just given you an overview of how uh, application programs and system programs are written so we will study this subject in detail so that's uh, it for this tutorial thanks for watching